So I'm taking this regular lantern I got from Walmart and it's LED. So we're taking the back off. Then what I did is I cut the track marks right here on the board, here and here. There was 10 LEDs um, and that's four 24 ohm resistors in parallel so that was 6 ohms of resistance, 10 LEDs I cut it here and here so it gives me one, two, three, four, five on this side and one, two, three, four, five LEDs on this side. And what I'm gonna do is solder these parallel the parallel circuits in series. So I'm gonna solder this one to the negative side for here. And I'm gonna take a positive side on this one and pull it over here. This for? Well, this is a six volt lantern. I want to make it work off of 12 volts. So I'm hoping that by cutting it in half and putting it in series, it'll work. It might just fry these little puppies, or it might work perfectly. So I'm going to get the solder. Okay, that worked. Now, let's see, I need to come from this All other right. side. Well, now that that's done, so what I did, and I'm hoping this works. If it doesn't, then this video probably won't make it to YouTube. So if it does work, that means I probably got it right. So this was the positive side, this wire, and this was the negative side. So I took this positive wire and connected it to the negative original side. And all I did was to cut the tracers in between is took a, took a little razor blade and just scraped it. You can see I scraped it here. <clears throat> so then I took from the negative side my other positive lead. And hopefully what this is going to do, see what happens, see what my voltages are across. I had 3.3 .3 volts before. And... Uh, then go to 12. Okay, so I'm hooking my 6 volt back up to it. I got it all soldered up. Just a met meter. I had 3.3 or 3.4 volts. That shows 2.8. Uh, now I'm going to hook it up to a 12 volt. I want to hook it up to it first and make sure my voltage um, was dropped. So now let's hook it to a 12 volt. And I'm hoping I get around 3.3 3.4 because I don't want to burn up these... LEDs and we have oof 4.3 wow that is super bright yikes so obviously <clears throat> I had too much voltage um, coming down I don't know my resistors were getting hot um, the resistors that was on board it's together they're 6 ohms so I found a bundle of resistors that I soldered together to make 6 ohms the same that I have on the board so now I'm going to attempt, I can't see what I'm doing, attaching the resistors. Now, let's see how many volts we have before I burn this thing up. 3.7. I'd rather bring it down a little more. Alright, so I found some 46 ohms. I got a whole pile of different ones. I found some 46, and if I put them in parallel together, it drops it to 23. And then I put that on top of my battery, so it's in series with it. Now, let's meter. So many volts we have on each LED. 3.3, much better, much better. I wish I would have measured it and showed it on tape what it was before I tore it apart. Sorry, I didn't do that, but so that's back to 3.3. Now, the problems I was having is these resistors here were getting really hot. They're warming up, but they're not getting super hot. And the resistor on top of the battery, whoo! Now that's getting hot. But um we're going to let it run for a while.
and I won't touch it and we'll let it run for a while and I'll come back and um, see if the voltage is and see how hot it gets and so forth and so on. Alright, we're rocking at four minutes so far. Warm to the touch but not too terribly hot. The resistor at the top. Whew, pretty warm. Not enough to I'll let it run for another five minutes. And if it hasn't changed, then hopefully, um, hopefully we'll be good. So we'll see. All right, we're rolling at 11 minutes. Still the same temperature. Very hot, but it's still about the same. Not, not nothing to worry about. Um, let's check the voltage again. 3.2, check the voltage. Check the voltage of the battery after 10 minutes with the LED. 12.56. So I'm wondering how long this is going to last. It might last a long time. Another voltage. 3.2 on that side. 3.2. Alright guys, well, we're at 12 minutes. Resistors are pretty hot, but not bad enough where it's going to burn anything. So we're going to see about installing this in the, um, the enclosed trailer camper I have and, uh, and go from there. Thanks. Okay, so what I did was this piece was on top, broke it off. Um, but this is the piece I had to take off to get to the circuit board. And then there was another little center piece I broke out uh, of here. Pulled my uh, wires out and I soldered and then put some little beanie connectors on there and made a connection. So there's there's my lamp. The rest of the stuff is inside here. Um, I taped up that resistor really well, hoping it won't melt the tape too bad. We'll see what happens. I taped it up really good. But put all that back into here, put the three screws on. So now I have my lamp. Battery. Of course, I'll have this connected to some light switches and such. Super, super bright. 12 volts. Let's go mount it. 